guys, this is Dr. Bayes from the Endless Fair Forum and this is video number one of the tip, tip and tricks for e-bike. So today what we'll do is um, we'll do some connections uh, with wires. So uh, I've got a lot of requests about uh, what's the, the way I'm using for um, uh, connecting, uh, crimping these uh, power pole uh, uh, PP30 so these are the 30 amp model uh, with the 10 gauge wire. You see this one is uh, the standard uh, 12 gauge and this is the gauge of wire that is supposed to be used with these uh, little, uh, little uh, contact uh, crimping pin. But I found a way over the years uh, to uh, how to crimp these uh, to get this. So this is 10 gauge, 10 gauge, 10 gauge and a lot of 10 gauge here. So um, I will show you today uh, the way I'm using and uh, you'll see it's uh, easy. You will need uh, only a few tools uh, available uh, at uh, probably a uh, Alistair Pro Electronics store or uh, your uh, home hardware. Um, this is one of my favorite tools for uh, e-bike uh, electrical um, uh, work. So this is about, uh, well, I will say uh, $20 and you can crimp up to uh, four gauge wire and uh, up to uh, uh, down to uh, I will say uh, well 12 gauge so I will show you how I proceed so um, as well if you just try to insert this 10 gauge wire into this uh, 30 amp uh, uh, crimp you, you see that uh, it's nearly uh, impossible. Well, I have only one hand actually, one holding the camera as well as usual. <laughs> but uh, I, I, you will lose uh, about half of the uh, strands just to insert it inside. And then the rest of the strands, if you cut them, uh, you cut uh, some of your uh, cur maximum current uh, uh, available. And uh, also if you try to solder them around, uh, you will not be able to insert these into this housing. So I will show you how I proceed. I will just install the camera right here. Okay, all right. So um, first, what we need is um, taking this uh, little uh, connector. I, I use um, this uh, kind of vise just to hold it. Okay, you can see, and. I use this plier that I just lightly modified to have a little angle here. Okay, this is a long nose type uh, plier. What I'm doing is I'm enlarging that this. And I know you have questions now about that, but you will see, uh, I will answer that. So I just push on it to open. You see, it's open right now. And I push it in that direction in the other direction, the other, just to open it a little bit, just as we need, okay, so you see, it's open right now, just enough to be able to insert the 10 gauge, so I will take the 10 gauge right here, and with a little bit of patience, I will just insert most of the strands inside and one of the trick is to rotate it you rotate and then all the strands goes inside clearly see all the strands are inside okay now the problem is crimping that so i'm using another pair of plier these one just to help it to get it in the original circle position. You see, uh, a little bit of the strands are trying to exit the slit, but I don't worry, when I will crimp that, it will all melt together with the pressure. Okay, so, so now that's it. I will use my favorite crimper, and I will use the last hole here. Okay. And usually um, I use the kind of punch pin on the bottom of the connector, just like that. 
and you can do two or one crimp but if you uh, solder it one crimp is enough okay and I will crimp it all right it's done and you see I have even a number from the crimp tool that is written melted in the uh, in the copper okay so now Sometimes what happens is uh, the blade here will just bend a little bit. You have to keep it straight if you want to have the proper contact pressure in the housing. Okay? Sometimes what happens is you will have some little lip here on uh, each side. One here and one here. You can cut it with uh, well, uh, a cutter or a tool. This is what I will do right now. So. Wait for five seconds. Okay, now we have a cutter. I will just cut the lip. You know, this is probably due to my tool design, uh, which crimp a little bit too much, but it will work anyway. And then what I suggest is to uh, solder. You have a really good contact right now, okay? It's like all the copper from the strands of the, the wire and the contact melted together with the pressure, okay? But if you want to have, uh, well, uh, no doubt, <laughs> you can add solder right on the border here. This is why I keep a little bit more lange uh, of wire strands uh, that is uh, unskinned um, uh, to have this uh, room for solder, okay? So you just apply solder here and well another way a little tricky is to apply solder right here on the top inside the the holes here the, the what it will do is the solder will just uh, go inside and uh, it will have the perfect contact but right now it's already perfect and i will show you that it can be inserted in the normal uh, power pole uh, 30 or 45 housing i remember this is a power pole, power pole PP30 made for 12 gauge so it's now with uh, 10 gauge and I just put it in the contact and you hear the click right now it's done I have the proper blade height and it's fully compatible that's it so I hope you appreciate it and uh, See you next time for the next video and tips and, tri tip and tricks. Bye bye.